Hi everyone, I'm Judy. Welcome to URE Farm Homestead. In this episode, our focus is on animals. I hope you enjoy our farm today and learn something of value. Maybe you will even have a tip to share with us. Come on along. We were surprised one day recently to see these geese roaming around near our house. This great blue herring was sitting on a log by the Uari River near our farm. Songbirds like to perch on our fence post. Today I will milk Pixie, our Jersey cow, and also discuss the importance of good quality milk. We will witness the birth of a baby goat, visit the organic feed mill where we buy feed for our farm animals, and discuss the importance of high quality food for our animals. But first, we are going to check on the twin goats that were born yesterday. Well, they're both up and look like they're doing good. Hey, babies. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. You're a good mama, aren't you? Hey, little babies. And I think we have two girls this time. It's okay, I'm going to weed eat some down here. Hey, hey PJ. Hey PJ. And there's Pixie, and I'm going to see if I can get her to come to the barn so that we can milk this morning. Pixie, come on girl. Come on. Come on, let's go to the barn. Come on. Come on, girl. We got you some sweet potatoes today. Do you like that? Okay, let's talk about milk. 2% skim, low fat, whole, organic, conventional, grass fed. Yikes, what's the deal? First of all, what is organic milk? According to USDA regulations, organic milk must come from cows that have not been treated with antibiotics or given hormones for reproduction or growth. 
During the grazing season, cows must spend a minimum of 120 days on pasture and receive at least 30% of their diet from fresh pasture forages. All other feed must be grown without chemical fertilizers, pesticides, or genetically modified seeds. Organic dairies tend to be smaller and the cows are able to live a more natural life. Conventional milk is not held to the same strict guidelines. Now, what about grass-fed? Grass-fed cows receive a portion of their diet from grass, as do pasture-raised cows. 100% grass-fed cows obviously obtain 100% of their diet from grass or forages. So, why does that matter to me? Organic Valley tells me that their pasture-raised milk has 62% higher omega-3 than non-organic milk, 18% higher conjugated linolenic acid, or CLA, than non-organic milk, and that their grass milk from cows whose diet is 100% forages has 147% more or omega-3 than non-organic non-grass-fed whole milk and 125% more CLA than non-organic non-grass-fed whole milk. These heart-healthy fatty acids are a part of the fat in the milk. Therefore, to reap their benefits, you need to use whole milk rather than 2% skim or low-fat. Larry came and told me that he thought PJ was in labor, and now we see that he was right. And the first baby is here. This is PJ's twins when they were two days old. The one with black on his head is boy, and the other is girl. Next, we are going to Reedy Fork Farm Feed Mill, where we buy organic alfalfa for our cows and goats, plus organic swine feed, organic chicken feed, and minerals. We drive extra miles and pay more for organic feed because we believe feeding our animals organic feed is important for their health, our land, and eventually our health. Reedy Fork Farm is also a family farm member of the Organic Valley Cooperative producing organic milk. This is co-owner George Tigg. He is always smiling and glad to answer any of our questions. Thanks for joining us today, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.